Great folks, this is a pond boat, or pond yacht if you'd like. It uh, came from the Clyde Model Dockyard in Glasgow and was given to my brother and I as a gift, probably around 1962. It's uh, so named because kids used to get them and they'd sail them on the local pond. I think with this one though, we, we'd push it into the middle and my dad used to have to roll his trousers up and uh, trouser legs up and uh, go and fetch it. Of course, if you were smart, you'd tie a piece of string to it so that you could get it back again. The Clyde Model Dockyard boats were known to be pretty fast and they actually put a lot of thought into the design. Believe it or not, because it looks like a, just a wooden yacht with a metal keel. This one arrived in Australia with the family when we emigrated in 1969 and it was never used after it arrived in Australia. It was really just wrapped up and kept either in the garage or in a shed, depending on where it was living at the time. It I I inherited it when my brother sort of lost interest and uh, spent all its life so far travelling around Australia in storage, as I said, in a shed or a garage. When I retired, I decided that I really should do something with it. And originally I was going to recondition it and make new sails etc and make it look like new again but uh, I think that would have spoiled it because this is the boat we had when we were little and it's still the boat with nothing done to it. I did however wash the sails, put some new rigging on it where it needed and a couple of those uh, wooden bits, I don't know what they're called the uh, yacht, yachtsman, the, the yachtsman watch, and I'll know what that is. But to be honest with you, I haven't got a clue. The story of the Clyde Model Dockyard, I think, is probably more interesting than the boat itself. The Clyde Model Dockyard was established in 1789 as a model building shop for the Admiralty. I'm assuming, basically, from reading reading uh, the encyclopedias, etc., that 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 means that they built model boats when new ships were commissioned and I expect they probably built commercial models as well. Anyway, somewhere along the line the model dockyard branched out and became a shop where DIY, DIYers would buy bits to build their own boats as a hobby. Later on before the shop closed, I think in about the 1970s, I really don't know because we certainly weren't living in Scotland in those days. The uh, Eventually I think it was uh, more known for its model railways rather than boats but I'm assuming, correct me if I'm wrong, that uh, it, they would have been model everything. But uh, I think my cousins have a few model railway pieces from the shop itself because it was really well known. I think as a, an interesting fact with the model dockyard is as a tribute at the uh, Transport Museum, I think, in Glasgow, they reconstructed a typical Glasgow street. And and uh, you'll find in the museum the shop front from the Clyde model dockyard is actually on exhibit in the museum, which I reckon is a pretty cool thing. And uh, this is the spot where the pond yacht lives and uh, doing this little video brought back a lot of memories to me. I seem to remember however that when I was small this yacht was quite large. Now that I've grown up it's actually quite small. Anyway, as I always say, if you've made it this far, thanks very much for watching.